Hi, this is Jerry Job, and today's tutorial is on texture masking in iColorama. Not masking in texture, but using textures as a mask. It's a new way of thinking about things, and I hope you enjoy it. Textures are normally applied by blending. We used Effect, Blend, and we choose our texture. And then we use the Fill button to make it fill the entire screen. And then we can change our preset to change the blend mode. Multiply, uh, darken, lighten, uh, finally choose um, hard light, and then we modify the opacity to blend in the texture. That's fine, but creative possibilities open up if we use the texture as a mask rather than blending it in directly. Now remember, a mask is a black and white image where black reveals the changes you make and white conceals the changes you make. So when using the mask, the black reveals the preset gradient, the green preset gradient, while the white scratches conceal the gradient showing the image beneath. So I have to turn the texture into a black and white image, and the easiest way to do that is with Style Threshold. I choose that, and it turns it into black and white, and then I can use the sliders to adjust the mask, the created mask. I save off the mask, and then I load an image to use the mask on. I've reloaded this image, and I go into the brush uh, mask toolbar, import that black and white mask that I just created. And now I can use that. Let me show you where it is with preset gradient. I can change the color on that preset gradient and um, change the opacity on it, blend mode, whatever. But you can also use effects under that mask. In this case I take um, style tensor and I like the rough scene that I get from that effect. I can bring the brush mask toolbar back up and invert the mask and now affect the other part of the image. I'm using preset sketch here and changing it to a color sketch, uh, changing the opacity on it in the other areas of the screen. Uh, that leaves it a little too light so I'm going to go into exposure to lower that exposure to make it match the rest of it. Now I can go back to my brush mask and remove it because uh, the remaining changes I want to make to this image are uh, for the entire image, both levels and vibrance to lower the saturation. Well, masks don't have to be pure black and white. They can also be shades of gray. So for my next texture, I'm going to use black and white and levels commands to try and get the exact um, mask that I'm looking for. So get levels to try and uh, make it more contrasty, and then I save it off. Then I load my image. Once again, I'll show you uh, load the mask as well and then I will use preset gradient to show you where the mask appears. I don't want the white color that's the default so I'm going to use a brown, a dark brown. But color of course is not all that you can do with that. First of all I'm going to invert the image and change the contrast and the saturation on the rest of the image because it's just too uh, saturated and too contrasty at this point. Then I'll go back to the brush mask toolbar, invert it, and go back to the original. And then I'm going to add grids here. And I'm going to change the preset to number two and move the sliders around and then eventually lower the opacity. And that gives it a nice look that I like. But it's not just grids, it's not just colors. Let's try something really far out. 
use form deforms. And I'm going to use preset number nine. As I move the sliders around, you'll see that deforms move around within the mask. Uh, I liked the original setting, so I go back to that. So I hope that that's given you some ideas of how to use textures as masks in your images in iColorama. Until next time, enjoy!